The pass the envelope strategy, also known as pass the problem, is a strategy that allows students to apply their experiences and knowledge to the learning content, challenges students to address complex issues or questions, and encourages them to come up with more than one problem, more than one solution to a problem. This strategy was first published by Barbara Millis in 1998. To use this strategy, the teacher must acquire the same amount of empty envelopes as there will be groups in the classroom, approximately four to five per classroom. In each envelope, the teacher will place a piece of paper that asks a different question regarding the learning content. Ideally, these questions will ask students to evaluate and anal analyze the content via abstract and thought-provoking scenarios, situations, or questions. After the first group answers their questions, they will pass the envelope with the question and the answers to the next group so they can reply to the primary question and the first group's response. This process will repeat until the groups receive their original envelopes. Afterwards, the groups will discuss the various answers. If time allows, it can be turned into a classroom discussion. For example, William Shakespeare's Romeo and Juliet involves themes of love, positive and negative familial relationships, youth, and death. In my envelope, I might ask a question like, Romeo and Juliet only knew each other for four days. Some might claim it is love at first sight, but others might disagree. Does love at first sight exist? Why or why not? I personally like this strategy because it can be used in multiple content areas and over multiple levels of grades, education, and learning processes.